So at the risk of sounding a little bit dramatic, what we're about to talk about is the fastest way to solve any problem just about instantly. And I can promise you right now, if you are struggling with a problem, maybe it's in basketball or in your personal life or even just internally in your mind, the technique that we're about to talk about is going to be pretty much opposite to everything that you've tried so far. And um, I was reminded of this recently when actually we were developing the deep game platform. So the online members area that players log in to go through the program. And so we were in the early stages of development and I, basically I had like woken up at 5 a.m. that morning and until 11 a.m. I was sitting in my office struggling with these technological problems and like which platform should we use, why are they not syncing up together and all of these things that frankly are like way above my pay grade to even deal with. I am not a tech person and yet I was kind of getting my hands dirty in this like technological mess and we have obviously since figured it out but uh, at the time I was just getting more and more and more and more frustrated in over my head with this problem that I was not even equipped to solve and so I spent like six hours that morning from five till eleven trying to deal with this thing and by 11 o'clock I was just done I was like my brain was fried I was frustrated I was annoyed I was like I never want to look at this ever again and I had a call with the team member at 11 so I hop on this call and I have this like little hammock down uh, downstairs in my home and so I like collapse into this hammock and and kind of I'm just resting and he can hear on the other line I am just exhausted and um, he actually said that he was like wow are you okay are you, you sound exhausted I was like yeah I'm, I'm just so done for the day so we begin talking and uh, we talk through some work stuff and then he brings up a problem that he's having in his own uh, meditation practice and, and some personal stuff as well and so we begin digging into this problem that he's having and I find <clears throat> that my energy uh, slowly at first and then rapidly begins coming back. And <laughs> after like 10, 20 minutes of talking through his problems that he's having, I am so charged with energy. I say on the phone, like, I, I feel like I could run a marathon now. I am completely charged back up and ready to go. Um, it, it was like I got an entirely new day just by speaking on the phone for that short period of time, going through the problems that he was working through. And it was so strange that the moment I got out of, sort of got out of the way of my own problems, like I forgot about them and started started focusing on helping him and, and that was where all of my focus went. <laughs> Not only did I get all of my energy back, but after that call, the solution to the, the tech problem that we were having kind of popped into my mind and revealed itself. And I was like, wow, all I needed to do was actually stop working on the problem. Like how strange is that? And um, it was one of the coolest applications of the law of reverse effort that is probably out there. And uh, that what we're about to get into, I should warn you is, um, and I've said this before, but this is a little bit advanced. Um, there's this old Tibetan practice that is called Tonglen, okay? And this is a meditation practice that's been around for at least a few thousand years, if not more. And by many teachers, this is considered to be the most powerful meditation that you can do. And the practice of Tonglen is a lot like what I did that morning. Uh, unintentionally, I wasn't trying to practice Tonglen, but the Tonglen practice is the opposite of the way that most people meditate. And so in Tonglen, um, or rather, we'll, we'll start with what most people do. <clears throat> Often, what most people will do is focus on their breath and they'll breathe in sort of like light and healing and good feeling. And then they'll breathe out all of the toxic energy and things that they want to get rid of. And so they, they feel as though they're purifying themselves by breathing in this like good feeling and breathing out the bad feeling. Um, that's what many, many people do as they meditate. Tonglen actually reverses it, okay? So you focus maybe on one other person or on the world as a whole or, um, you know, a, a group of people or your family or whatever the case, case may be, and you breathe in their suffering. Okay, so you, you visualize breathing in all of the suffering and pain of these other people and you breathe out um, healing and love and good feeling towards those people. <laughs> now this seems backwards, right? And yet the moment you do it, I, I still remember like it was yesterday, the first time I tried this, it was a profound experience because not only did 
I feel way better. Um, you, you know, the, the purpose of this is, uh, is kind of multidimensional, but um, what you <laughs> may be concerned about is that you'll take in all of this kind of bad feeling and negative energy and not feel so good afterwards. The opposite is what actually happens. By stepping out of your own way and your own self-concern over, you know, how good you're feeling or a problem that you're having in the moment and kind of just stepping out of the way and, and focusing on um, a struggle that somebody else is going through, you find that yours is solved and you you feel much, much better. And through the process of Tonglen, I, I would invite you to practice this. Actually, you can sit down and focus on somebody else who's going through something and uh, just breathe in their suffering and breathe out healing and love and, and good feeling and positive, positive feeling towards that person. You will feel, <laughs> um, I, I don't want to give it away right now, but it, it will be a profound experience. It's like reversing um, the approach that you were taking. And this is kind of, like I said, one of the coolest applications of the law of reverse effort that I've probably ever seen, right? You literally, um, in the law of reverse effort, it states that the harder you try to play well, the more difficult the game become, becomes. And often the harder you try to solve your own problem, the more you like tie your mind in knots. Imagine being out there on the floor and you're not playing well and you're thinking about how can I start playing well? Why am I not playing well? And these again, you like tie your mind in knots to the point where an entire game slips away with you being frustrated. You go home wondering like, what am I doing out there? I'm never going to play the way I want to. And, and it's, it really becomes a mess. And the fastest way to solve that problem, believe it or not, is to, again, using the law of reverse effort or this Tonglen principle to just step out of the way of your own problem. Stop trying to solve your own problem and focus on the problem that another person is having. And there's, you know, focusing on the problem another person is having and, and helping them with it is a art form in, in and of itself. Maybe we can speak about it in a different video, but in the context of just the game that we were speaking about, let's say you're not playing well, not maybe just stepping out of the way of trying to score more or trying to play in a certain way, focus on another aspect of the game that's going to help your team as a whole or another player. Maybe you get your teammate going. Maybe you focus on just rebounding or playing defense and just step out of the way of the problem that you're facing and allow that problem to kind of solve itself through the act of you helping somebody else. Um, so this was just like a, such a clear reminder, focusing on that tech issue and then, you know, 20 minutes or whatever it was speaking on the phone with our team member and focusing on him, I was completely renewed and that problem solved itself, essentially. Um, you can use this anytime. And it's like, uh, I've come to believe actually that this is not just a technique, it's a way of life. When you step out of the way of being so self-concerned with, you know, how am I feeling right now? What are, what are the problems that I'm facing? How can I solve my problems? And you focus more so on what can I do for others. Your problems really kind of solve themselves and that energy comes back to you. And so maybe you want to try out that Tonglen technique if it's just 10 or 20 minutes. Sit down, um, focus on somebody else who's going through something and just try to take in their suffering and you know, on your, on your inhale, you take in their suffering and on your exhale, you breathe out love and healing and good feeling. <laughs> what you will find is that not only do you not feel bad afterwards, but you will feel so much better. And it's a really profound shift in your mental approach to the world. And so um, I, I'm glad we, we could share this today. Again, it's it's so opposite to the what to the approach that's that most people take when they're solving a problem that it kind of takes some courage to actually um, stop focusing on what you're so focused on and let it go and just focus on somebody else for a change. And what you'll find, uh, I believe will be profound. Okay. So try that out today and I will see you in the next video.